well, if you claim you protest for democracy and then you start smashing windows and assaulting people and stuff like that. To another episode of Motoganda and still one during peacetime fortunately so even if the sky is kind of gray today I'm still rather happy of course I was wrong in my last video where I said that I see something happening during the Trump inauguration and that fortunately wasn't the case. So compared to his other speeches like during his rally or even during the debates, I actually found this one kind of lame or not really lame but way lower energy I would say or way more calm. But anyway, at least, as I said, nothing happened to him. I mean, obviously there were some protests. And if you have a look here... kind of democratic protest or does that more look like a mob? Well me personally this reminds a lot of the so-called moderate rebels in Syria back in the days. That's actually the reason why I choose that title. Well, if you claim you protest for democracy and then you start smashing windows and assaulting people and stuff like that, um, no. <laughs> I cannot believe that you really stand for democracy then. And the same also applies to the Women's March or Women's Rights March or LTBJQXYZ whatever Rights March which was held the next day and originally had nothing to do with Trump but out of a sudden since well the date kind of matches they rebranded it or renamed reused it or whatever you like to call it to become an anti-Trump march and on this one I even found a way worse example which in my opinion completely delegitimizes their protest or not delegitimizes but makes it ridiculous for what they claim they stand for. Of course, just imagine what would be the least imaginable or least possible thing you can think of which could happen on a women's rights march. So for me personally, the least imaginable or the most unlikely thing to happen at a so-called women's rights march is that on this march a woman gets attacked by a guy and those so-called women's rights activists 
defending the guy rather than the woman. And well, just have a look at that video and unfortunately you will see that it's not that unlikely to happen. I'm having a, I'm trying to have a conversation Go with you. Away. Get out of my fucking face. I will break your camera. You do not have the right to. So what you could see there was basically a self-proclaimed women's rights activist who thought it's quite okay if you attack a female reporter if this reporter well let's say cheers the wrong team or doesn't report the way you would like her to report and as I said the most ridiculous part of it I think is that the nearby women which obviously claim to be for women's rights then rather than keeping the guy and taking him to account for what he did now they basically blamed her that is basically her fault or whatever bullshit and in the meantime he could escape well here comes the good news um, he didn't manage to escape first yes he did but since they put out the bounty of I think one thousand dollars or something like that to identify him it didn't take quite that long to find this guy but well before we focus too much on the negative sides let's have a look at Trump's first days in office and even if mainstream media still is writing so much against him I have to say so far he did what he said he would do and regardless if you like his policies or not I think it's a good thing that he actually does after the election what he promised before not like most other politicians which tells you everything basically just to get elected and afterwards they say like nah, I changed my mind or nah, I can't do that so Trump is pretty much different there of course what did he do so far he got rid of TPP the Trans-Pacific Partnership he partially repealed Obamacare and he signed the executive order to start building the wall and that's only the first three days in office I mean I don't know if any other president did go at that pace but I can't remember any I might be wrong there but well so let's hope he keeps it up that way and obviously I will have an eye on him and especially on his policies And I just noticed I should really change my brakes soon. Of course, that braking was not really good anymore. And this time I can even tell you what the next video will be. If he knows where he is going, well... Because I somehow missed the point where I went over 100 subscribers and I want to thank you already for all that support and by now I think I'm even close to 150 already at the moment they come in a lot and that's pretty cool 
and so obviously the next video will be kind of a belated 100 subscriber special and I have already a pretty cool idea for that one anyway if you like that video I would really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and share it all over social media and spam the entire internet with it if you have any opinions, ideas or anything you would like to discuss, just put it down there in the comments. And obviously, if you didn't subscribe yet, I would really like to see my subscribe account grow even further. And I see you in the next video.